Hey, this is Install One. I'm going to make a video in depth about my solar panel system that I just installed uh, like a, over a week ago. Right now there's 10 amps and dropping because of course there's a cloud, but uh, I'm going to show you the four panels on the office. Each of them is 200 watts and then two solar panels on the uh, shipping container. I'm just going to go in order. So I'm just going to go out to the office and start out there and then I'll show you everything involved with it. And also I've been logging all of the battery voltages and powers over the last, well since I put it in, so I'll also show that uh, probably towards the end of the video. Okay, starting out here at the office. I have four solar panels up here. Uh, we installed these like uh, like a year ago, maybe. I don't remember exactly how long it is. It's conduit in there. Uh, it has two junction boxes. Each of the wires goes uh, from the solar panels goes into those two junction boxes. Comes into a wire in this conduit. Four conductor Romex wire and then goes into the office there. This really isn't too good right here. I need to fix that. It's a little bit too far out. But, so it works for now. Okay, I'm in the office now. There's the Romex wire. It's just all hanging out because uh, I want to have a shelf here with electronics on it, DC-DC converters for the well because right now the four solar panels are wired in parallel into this brick box right here and it's 35 volts and it's that is not high enough voltage most of the time to run the um, to run the well so I want to have a buck converter or to step down just have a constant voltage of 12 volts to maybe power like lights in here and then have a boost converter to boost up the voltage to like 40 or 50 volts so that this will run a lot easier and also uh, there's 12 volts if I disconnect that the output of this breaker is energized with 12 volts from the batteries so that there is 12 volts out here and if I have a boost converter connected up to those 12 volts then I can run the well off of the um, off of the off the batteries and that would be really cool and also there's there's this well controller which is made to run a normal well off of lower voltages DC or AC uh, 250 volts AC down to like 35 volts DC which is exactly how much this this puts out when it's in direct sun so that's why I need a boost converter for that then right here, those two wires, not, that is not finished yet, but uh, it just comes out to that conduit, which then goes back out here. Uh, his cock is, my cocking job is not very good, but <laughs> it looks bad, but conduit goes underground, then out over to the uh, meter box right there, and then uh, it goes over to a power line. So I'm over here at the meter box. All right, there's the office. So conduit comes up right here. Uh, I don't have anything on on it to keep water out yet, but two wires, positive and negative, go up to right here. These two lag bolt insulators I just had around go up this way over to here. I have a spool insulator and also a pin insulator there. I wanted to have it the same as that with an, a rack, but I didn't have another rack with insulators. But then this just comes over here, right underneath, or just behind the drip line. Comes over this rack, and I actually got this rack at the dump. I found it over at the dump. And I just have two spool insulators that is connected to there. Bottom one's negative, positive positive is the top one and that comes over 
and connects in right here. Really the only two anchor points that are on the RV. That comes up into here, under there, up into there. And then there's this wire. This is the negative and this is the positive. The positive just barely reached and the negative did not reach. And that's just old snow making wire that my dad had. And pretty much everything I have from, or everything on this solar system is just stuff I have laying around. Like all of this wire is just wire that we had laying around. But then that comes into here. And then you can see the aluminum wire comes into there into this old blade switch and goes into there, connects into that the common, which I have wired up to be a common terminal, and goes in here into the positive of the, char of the charge controller and also the negative wire comes in right there too. And I also have a amp meter right there. Just kind of see uh, what the amperages are. And then on this side I have the two solar panels from the shipping container come in there and through this side and then also connect in and have just these these two wires go and connect into the extra terminals on this battery charger that is not plugged in and I'll show you the uh, the logs of the solar over the past I think it's 10 days. So start on December 21st. Reset the charge controller because we've used it before. 2,800 amp hours. And there's watt hours. And just slowly got higher and higher. Also switched from this one paper to this notebook, so that was nice. You can see it just steadily comes up higher and higher. And that's the amp hours in the middle. And battery voltage on the left. And let's get a wide picture of that if you want to pause and look at everything. So I have the morning one over here and the afternoon. Afternoon is, well, basically once the solar, solar panels stop producing any voltage, then I'll write it down. And there's all that. I do the day amp hours battery voltage and then the total amp hours and then there's this one day right here where for some reason it went from 12 volts down to 9 volts and had to charge off the geez chicken and then the um, we had to charge off the charge charger right here which plugs into that plug which is connected to Idaho power but the next day I was back on solar, produced a whole four amp hours. <laughs> yeah, that was just like most of the day it was on this and not on the solar. Yeah, that's all of that. So I'll kind of do two, two things at the same time, but there's solar comes in right here from the two on the shipping container, two solar panels on the shipping container. It comes out here into that one smaller wire and then goes out outside onto the other the other uh, side of the RV. Then I also have this red wire right here, positive, comes up into right here, and also a ground right there connected into the frame that comes over to here to this fuse box, which used to be over on the chicken coop, but is now here. I have the way oversized wire for this connection here connected uh, to that big wire that goes out to the uh, shipping container. I'll show you that in a bit. But when I turn that on, there's 12 volts, and then when I turn it off, there's it's disconnected from the batteries. Yeah, I have just two 50 amp fuses, same as what it was over at the chicken coop. And now the amperage from the batteries is up to 19 amps. Here's some big insulators and small insulators that my dad brought from Tennessee, and I'll do a video on that later. Right here, I have two disc insulators, also ones that my dad brought from Tennessee. There's the thick wire here, which is from the batteries, and then the thin wire that comes from the solar panels. 
Those go up. Up to that pole right there. That is just made out of random things that I had laying around, and yeah. And that goes way out to there, to that pole out there. Okay, I'm up here on the shipping container. There are two power lines coming up here. There's the disk insulator right over there, connected to the solar wire, and then 12 volt wire I do not have connected to anything yet. I still need to find an insulator for that. Right, here's the 35 volts from the solar panels. Comes in right here. And right now I just have wire nuts. And they're angled so that no water gets in them. But still, I'd like to get something a little bit better for outdoors. Then the other wire comes over to here. Another wire nut and connects into the positive. And then the negative. I also need to redo this, but there's a lug right there that's connected to the shipping container. And it just uses the ground for the 240, 120 volt uh, wires. They go up to the meter box and then through the RV cord, the ground in the RV cord, and then into the uh, RV and it's grounded to the frame. So it's already connected to the negative of the battery, so that's perfect. But, uh, I have two wires going into that terminal, so I need to redo that. I got a, a lug with two terminals on it a couple days ago, but I still haven't installed it yet. I need to do that soon. And also get the 12 volt wire hooked up and hooked up to the 12 volts power lines going out to the chicken coop and also to the lights in the shipping container because I do not have any power to those anymore because I moved the battery from down there into the RV. So now that's just hooked in with all the other 12 volt batteries. That, that's pretty much it. And there are the solar panels out there. That's it. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. That'd be awesome, and this is Jan I record this on January January 1st, so first day of the year. Happy New Year's, late New Year's, but okay, bye. <laughs> Jeez, that was a bad outro. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Daisy, are you laying in the snow? Is it nice and cool in the snow, Daisy? Oh.